to Grade 6 Math EQAO Prep. This is Into Math and my name is Tanya. This is Lesson 2 and we'll be taking up two questions today. Let's start with this one. In order for me to solve this problem, I need to first find the numeric value of the number of students from Grade 6. The total number of the students here is 65. The Grade 4 students are 18 and the number of Grade 5 students is 10. So I will subtract those numbers from 65. 65 subtract 10 subtract 18. And that gives me 37. 65 subtract 10 is 55. Subtract another 10 is 45. Subtract 8 is 37. Next, I need to convert 37 into percent. I don't know what percentage 37 is of 65, but I can find out by setting up a proportion. 65 is 100%. 37 is unknown. So I can multiply 37 by 100 and then divide that number by 65. 37 times 100 over 65. That will give me 56.9%. 56.9% is closest to 50% out of the answers given to us in the multiple choice. So the answer to this question is C, 50%. In this question, you have three packages with the following masses, and you're being asked to find the total mass of three packages in grams. 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram. So when I want to convert kilograms into grams, I need to multiply them by 1,000. So I will multiply this number by 1,000, this by 1,000, and this by 1,000. All I need to do when I multiply decimals by 1000 is to move a decimal point to the right three places. So one, two, and one more, which would give me 850. Then I multiply this one, one and two more, 9400. And then 23 times 1000 is 23,000. Total means adding it all together. So now I need to add all of these masses in grams together. 850 plus 9,400 and plus 23,000. So the answer here is 33,250 grams. This is an open question. It doesn't have multiple choice uh, portion to it. Therefore, when you're doing this type of question on EQAO, you need to write out every single step and show all your work. Do not erase, just leave it all there to show your thinking. Thanks for joining me again today. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel, as well as follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We always have something important to share with you. Also, for more practice and more exciting and challenging work, you can visit our website, www.intomath.org. See you next time.